Hi, my name is Jonathan Rose, and I'm a professor of electrical and computer engineering at the University of Toronto. Myself and my student, Ash Kumar, recently published a paper titled Generation of Backward-Looking Complex Reflections for a Motivational Interviewing-Based Smoking Cessation Chatbot Using GPT-4, colon, Algorithm Development and Validation. It was published in JMIR Mental Health. So in our paper, which is titled mainly Generation of Backward-Looking Complex Reflections, our goal uh, in this paper fits into our larger project where we're trying to build a chatbot that talks to smokers and uses a known therapeutic method called motivational interviewing to help them move towards the decision to quit smoking. Now, it turns out a really important thing that talk therapists do in motivational interviewing and all kinds of other talk therapy is to do something called a reflection, which in its simplest form just repeats what someone says in, in different words. But there's a complex, uh, a complex reflection links what was said to something that might get the person to continue contemplating. It could be some other idea about the relationship to their family that the therapist thinks of, or it could be something that relates to something the person said earlier in the conversation. And so this thing we've called backward looking complex reflections is a specific kind that pulls something out of what the person said, the client said, um, previously in the conversation. So, and we want to be able to do that with the new kinds of AI, you know, like ChatGPT is built on something called GPT-4, and that's what we're using to do this, uh, to the creation of this reflection within this chatbot. And so, so it's all about trying to make good quality, backward looking complex reflections if, if the outer bot, so the outer bot can choose to do that uh, when it thinks that's it's the right time to do that. And that's what we showed was quite possible in the paper. And it's really, really amazing with modern large language models that you can just ask them to do things like this. And we validated that it really could do this backward looking therapeutic statement well. Why did we choose to submit to JMIR and JMIR Mental Health is where it ended up? Well, JMIR has a great reputation. Um, it gives good, it produces good quality editorial of the paper. And uh, it's the right, right area. JMIR is medical things connected to technical things. And this project involves a lot of medical things, but a bunch of technical things. And so it's, it's the right topic, high quality publication, well, well managed uh, journal. We liked, we like it a lot.